another one. Today we're going to be talking about awkward moments only artists understand. And now I got this idea from the channel as is and they have over 10 million subscribers. But the video we're going to watch today has Buzzfeed in the title. Oh my God, are you drawing? <laughs> Have you heard of anime? Who is that? Can you draw me? Is that anime? Is that a celebrity? Can you draw me an anime? But before we get to that, I want to give a quick shout out to Richie Chu on Instagram. He was the one who sent me the DM in my last video and he suggested I made a video on Butch Hartman and the kind of new videos he's been making on TikTok, which is just a really funny video. And I think you should go see it if you haven't seen that video immediately after watching this one, of course. So go show him some love, follow his Instagram, all that good stuff. And while you're at it, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Oh my God, are you drawing? right off the bat this is extremely accurate especially when you're drawing in front of people who are not artists necessarily or they just haven't seen people like draw especially if your drawing is that good and they haven't seen people draw that good in front of them they're always surprised and intrigued and they're trying to find out oh my god what are you doing are you drawing what's what's going on wow you drew this yourself you drew this from your brain without looking at anything wow you must be really talented have you heard of anime now this one kind of happens anytime someone asks for my instagram account and then they go ahead and check it and then they see that i draw comics and my art style is kind of cartoony and all that and the first thing they ask me is oh my god have you heard of anime or do you watch anime and i'm like Ugh please this person has come again why can't you ask me something else must we have to talk about art like please can you just leave me alone i really don't want to talk about art or cartoons right now i don't know if this has happened to you as well but this happens to me almost all the time not every artist you just run into watches anime there's a high probability that you will run into an artist has no idea what anime is his art style probably isn't even close to what anime is but because you're just used to seeing cartoons and maybe you've heard the term anime is kind of popular on social media now so right now everyone is just crazy over anime who is that i think the who is that question happens but it's not really very common but anytime someone sees you just drawing a random portrait or head or just a character a figure just standing chilling doing nothing they're always intrigued they're always interested in finding out who you're drawing and if you're drawing them at that point or you're drawing someone you've seen somewhere i don't know why they always love asking who's that person you're drawing and it really could be no one at all we just love to sit down and just draw random people from our imagination or just from things we've taken in that inspire us so we're really not drawing anyone in particular it could just be a random oc we generated and we just felt like drawing that person at that particular time and sometimes it might actually be someone or maybe a popular character or fan art but it all just depends on how the artist is feeling at that particular time so it really doesn't have to be any specific person at all can you draw me can you draw me if I had a penny for when any person asks, can you draw me? I'd be totally rich right now. I mean, I'll be swimming in pennies. I'll, I'll just have so much money and so much pennies. I should probably just sign up to be in the next James Bond movie as Money Penny. <laughs> Every time someone just figures out, oh, you know how to draw, ha, you're, you're pretty skilled. The next question is, so can you draw me? <laughs> can you draw me? Like, why? Please, if you're not an artist and you're watching this video and you have artist friends or you just randomly see an artist somewhere, please don't ask them, can you draw me? Because that just instantly pisses them off, especially if you're their friend. And of course, they wouldn't just want to draw you. But if you keep on insisting, they will want you to pay for the droid. But because you're friends with them, they may not know how to tell you that you have to pay for whatever it is you want. It will just make the entire conversation so awkward, especially just thinking about how the artist is 
feeling at that moment when you're disturbing him and forcing him to draw you. Anime? Is that a celebrity? Can you draw me an anime? This is even worse. <laughs> Don't even say this at all. Don't bring this into any conversation. It's worse when you're saying, can you draw me? But when you now ask for yourself to be drawn in anime, bruh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what if the artist doesn't even draw in an anime style? What if the artist is some... What if he's a sculptor? What if the artist... Is just knows how to mold with clay he, he just knows how to model with clay if, would you still expect him to mold you in anime <laughs> like, it doesn't even make any sense this happens so many times like i don't know any artist who just loves drawing hands every artist i know just hates doing hands for some reason and i just don't even know why except kim jong ji because my god have you seen him draw this man will just start drawing eyelashes of a character and just create an entire scene with moving cars and buildings and even a spaceship with astronauts and a goat going straight up into the sky. I just don't get how he does it. But every other normal human being, every other normal artist just hates drawing hands. Like hands and feet are so, I wouldn't say they're extremely difficult, but Nah, I think I'll say they're extremely difficult. <laughs> the amount of times I've had Photoshop crash. Well, right now, since, since I started making YouTube videos, I think I've had Premiere Pro crash more times than photoshop but when i wasn't making youtube videos photoshop would just keep on crashing but now i think with the newer versions it's it's gotten a lot better but back then when it was the old photoshop if you just load a large file or if you load a large brush that has a lot of textures and other settings on it and color dynamics on and then you increase the brush size to like an extremely large brush and you're trying to cover your canvas just say goodbye to photoshop man and try and save your work because photoshop is definitely going to crash and you're going to lose your work there is no way you're recovering that back <laughs> Oh my god, this is so me right now. The amount of drawings that I've started and I know I am never ever going to finish. I can't explain the feeling of starting a drawing and then just leaving it as is. It just feels like there's always this new energy when you're starting on a new fresh blank page and just drawing from scratch. But if you come to your drawing session and just start off with a a, a drawing that you've already been drawing before it's not as fresh and exciting as when you have a blank new canvas and you're just free to draw whatever the next video we're going to watch is from the youtuber makochino and i just watched a couple of her videos and i think she's actually pretty funny man you're so lucky you're majoring in art i mean you basically have no homework right you can just paint and draw and i have to study so much it's crazy but i'm ridiculous Bruh, because I enjoy drawing and painting and doing all the artsy stuff in my spare time doesn't mean when it comes to doing it as work or as homework or as an assignment, it's not going to be as annoying as when you have a ton of books to read as an assignment. I mean, obviously, it might be easier to paint a landscape compared to reading an entire book with about 2000 pages, but it's still a headache. Just on a lesser note, I guess. So, um, what do you want to become? An artist. No, no, I mean like a real job. You know it's like a real job, right? Do you think money will just drop from the sky whenever you paint? <laughs> think money will just 
drop from the sky whenever you they ask you how you're doing and say that you're fine when you're not really fine and you just can't get into it because they would never understand this is extremely relatable you see the amount of people that don't understand how art can be a real job the numbers are so many i mean right now it's become it's 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 obviously way better but back then when we were like younger when we were kids in high school if you ever said to the next kid that you wanted to become an artist they would just look at you like you're definitely not going to eat anything at all you're going to starve so whenever parents and their kids are driving around and then they see all all the small all the all the artists that stay by the roadside just drawing portraits and painting portraits and then they'll look at them and say you see that's the kind of artist your friends want to become don't be like him don't ever be an artist man you're so talented i can't even draw a stick figure wow he's such a good drawer yeah yeah i'm i'm such a good drawer I, I i have a lot of shelves coming out of me i know how to pack things inside me i have so many items just being stuck inside me and they fit closely and i close well i'm very good at closing <laughs> what is a drawer that logic is just totally messed up it's like say if you know how to cook then you automatically become a cooker a gas cooker instead of a chef wow so amazing that logic is just it blows my mind every time everything happens for a reason you know like everything we do everything positive everything negative that happens in our lives it just teaches us something and we should always not to complain about it just see the bigger picture and what the situation teaches us so we can grow as a person and this painting should inspire you and just remind you that everything happens for a reason so you stay positive even if something bad happens you can still learn something from that so yeah that's what's my intention with this painting how do you like it i didn't get it I feel like this applies to mostly people who paint abstract so they'll just paint a very abstract piece and they will tell you to look with your imagination and then they will explain that the painting is just a mix of feelings of a perpetual galaxy far away where there was a subway surfer fighting and running after a samurai whose feeling was so moist and wet at the same time he couldn't understand why game of thrones couldn't just make a better season eight you see how that absolutely made no sense that is exactly how some people just explain their paintings and once you finish listening to them you just don't get it especially after looking at the image and then listening to them explaining their painting you just don't get it but they are actually good abstract painters that can explain an image and make you feel the essence of what they're explaining right in that image so once you just look at the image you can actually feel what they're talking about and see all the things they're explaining to you right within that image especially if it's a really good artist that understands how to use his words as much as he understands how to use his colors which is something that quite a few artists know how to do can you teach me how to draw I feel like people who say this just don't understand how long it takes to actually learn drawing or how long it takes to actually sit down and practice or just the amount of hours it takes just sitting down and practicing drawing if you actually want to improve. They think you can just sit down and just automatically become Pablo Picasso in one sitting after just drawing some squiggly lines and a loose face, you just automatically become the greatest painter that ever lived that's not how it works i'm sorry to break it to you 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 have to put your back into it you have to take out your spinal cord and literally put your back into your drawing before you can see any progress look look i got an a in my painting wait do you study for your math exam tomorrow you don't have to got an a last time right you better be better than her If there was one subject I hated in school, it had to be maths. Anything that had maths in it, I just automatically knew I was either going to get a bad grade or I was going to fail it entirely. And I always...
always did. I just hated it. I hated anything that had to do with math. My dad would literally scold me so many times for just failing math and I just didn't care at all. I was always drawing comics at the back of my math exercise book. So if you just flipped my math exercise book to the back, you just see drawings and a bunch of other nonsense right in there. Like I just never paid attention, even in math class. I'm grown up now and I still haven't used one single page of algebra. I haven't used Pythagoras theory. I haven't used anything I was being taught back then, aside from just adding numbers and multiplying numbers and dividing numbers by random other numbers. That is all I've been doing with all the maths that I was being taught. So what was the use of learning all that mathematics back then? you paint something for me and it's kind of like a gift from a friend but you sit down it and I am sure he will love it. Yeah sure, it's uh, $50. $50? Are you kidding me? I thought you would do art because you love it, not because you're hungry for money. Well, a real artist wouldn't do that for money. They do it for the love of their craft. A real artist will do it because of their love for their crafts. Uh? No, a real artist will kick you out. Do you think the drawing tablets and the pencils and the sketchbook and whatever the artist is using to draw just paid for itself? I mean, that would be nice if you could just go to a store and look at anything and it automatically pays for itself and you can just take it home without having to move your hand and put it in your wallet and take out your card and pay but this is real life artists also need money to survive just like every other person i thought you would do art because you love it not because you're hungry for money shut your fucking mouth if you enjoyed the video please leave it a like subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you want to help the channel or support an african prince you can always do that by buying me a coffee using the link in the description and then you can also just find my socials my instagram my twitter right there in the description and follow me on all of them and uh i guess that's that i'll see you guys in the next video peace